Hey there, Jack and Nation. Welcome to this edition of Inside the Hive. I'm Kaylee Vickner, and today I'm here with Blaine Robbins, the captain of the men's soccer team. Blaine, thanks for joining us today. Yeah, thanks for having me. No problem. All right, so we're going to first start off with, how did you start playing soccer? I started playing soccer when I was really little. Uh, I could have been around three years old. My dad actually ran the recreational soccer from my hometown in Galva, Illinois. And ever since then, soccer has just been a huge part of my life. I grew up with it. My dad was my coach pretty much until I was 13 years old. And it's just been a huge part of my me growing up. Awesome. What made you want to continue playing soccer into college? Was it your dad or did you just love the sport that much? Well, honestly, it was my passion for the sport initially. My dad getting me into it and kind of a combination of a lot of things. Uh, I played soccer year round, fall, winter, summer, spring, whatever. It's always kind of a year round sport for most people. And as I developed into high school, played with club teams, started talking to coaches, I just realized that by the time I graduated high school, I'd, I wouldn't be able to go without it. Four more years sounded very appealing to me at that point. Did you have any challenges that you faced being a collegiate athlete? Um, time management is probably going to be the most cliche answer from any collegiate athlete that you run into. Honestly, it's always very difficult. Practice takes probably three to three and a half hours a day, not just spent on the field, but time preparing time in the training room, recovering, and then the actual practice session itself. And that's not even talking about the trips that we take that will consume an easy 12 hours a day just for traveling trips. Sometimes we have full weekends where we're just on the road and preparing for two games in a row or so. Speaking of trips, you guys went to Italy this past summer, am I right? Yes. Yeah. How was that? Did it bring you guys closer as a team? Yeah, Italy was a fantastic trip for us. We had a lot of team bonding. We spent all day together, pretty much all the time, whether we were touring Italy, riding the bus, or just hanging out in the hotel. I mean, it got us a lot of time. I think it allowed our team to get closer together. We were able to talk to each other on a more personal level, not so much about soccer, but just hanging out. What do you like to do? Things you like to eat. You just kind of learned a lot more about each other on that trip. Right, I'm sure you guys made some great memories. Speaking of, what is your favorite memory of being a Defiance College soccer player? Two years ago, I got to be a part of probably the greatest game I've ever played. I mean, we played Hanover College last game of the season. We had no hope of making the conference tournament at this point. Hanover was ranked number one for the season. They were getting ready to host the conference tournament. We went there. One of our players, unfortunately, got handed a red card about 20 minutes into the game. So. That leaves us with about 70 minutes left of regulation for us to play 10 on 11 the rest of the game. My team battled incredibly hard, and everyone just fought with so much drive all game long that we ended up pulling out a win in double overtime to just seal it. And any athlete knows that a win in overtime is one of the greatest feelings you ever go through, especially when you're playing handicapped. That sounds like a nice memory to have. Now, you guys are around 500 this season. What's it going to take for you guys to get to HCAC this year? Yeah, right now for our team, we're in a good spot. We had a tough road here in the middle. Last two weeks or so were very tough for us. We're coming off a win now in Baldwin Wallace, which is big for us. I don't think we've beaten them since I've been here. That's huge to be coming off a win going straight into conference. We have a tough team first. We're going to go there, going to get a result there, going to get a win. And then after that, it's just going to be the drive and the effort that we put in the rest of the season. We have very high hopes to make the HCAC tournament this year, and I think we have the team to do it. Great. Well, we look forward to seeing you guys this season. Thanks for joining us. I'm Kaylee Vickner here with Blaine Robbins, and join us next time.